the sudden surge in meth labs in northeast Oklahoma is leaving a trail of destruction and death. We've had 11 uh, lab-related deaths. The chemicals used to make the drugs and fires sparked by meth lab explosions have destroyed or contaminated hotels, homes, and businesses, including the May Brothers building in Bartlesville. The makings of a meth lab was discovered in its ashes. These are very volatile situations. Volatile because meth makers in northeast Oklahoma are using a particularly dangerous method called one pot or shake and bake to cook small batches of drugs, oftentimes in a soda bottle. Most of these things they can go right down to Walmart or a grocery store and pick up everything they need to manufacture methamphetamine. To crack down on drug makers and the danger cooking meth poses to the public, the DEA felt the need to send its instructors to Tulsa to train dozens of northeast Oklahoma police officers to crack down on clandestine labs. We expect that if we don't get a handle on it that it will move into the other areas of Oklahoma. One of the reasons this training can be held here in Oklahoma is because of the new Helmrich Research Lab here at the OSU Tulsa campus. It has the lecture halls and the labs necessary to do the training. At the end of this week, we're going to have 45 investigators out there certified to investigate, uh, to collect evidence safely, and to, to move these cases towards prosecution. Officers whose faces we can't show since most work undercover. They're learning which items found in just about every kitchen and garage meth cooks use to make their drugs. And they're going into the lab with a chemist to cook meth themselves. It's so they'll know when during the cooking process they can shut down a methamphetamine lab with the least risk of blowing it up. In Tulsa, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.